And I know it's not easy, Diane, when you get up and you feel like the blood days and you just can't hardly go. I've been there and I've done that. Hallelujah. And it's hard to push past the feelings. But as long as we stand firm on the Word of God, guess what's for us? Victory. 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 Hallelujah. I've got angels around about me. Yeah. Yeah. i got angels camped around about me. Hallelujah. Come on, angels, get around me. Hallelujah. Get around me, angels. I got angels when I get weak. And boy, I feel like I'm going to fall. Angels don't have to fix me up. He's calling my heart. And I feel like I'm going to fall. I don't know what to do. The angels say, it's okay. We back up. How many know that? When I feel like all of a sudden I'm going to go this way, the angels say, it's going to be all right. And I feel like I'm going to go this way, the angels say, it's okay. The Lord sent you. He apologized you. It's okay. Hallelujah. So look up here, look up here, Curtis. Hallelujah. Jesus said it's long. Hallelujah. Come here. It's long. Stand by me. If he got me by the hand. He's got me by the hand. And he's leading me. I'm not leading him, but he's walking with me. In the times that you know the story that you can't see my footprints in the sand, he's carrying me. He just carried me through a tremendous, tremendous thing. I'm still weak today, but I know I'm strong in him. Do I act like I'm weak? No. Because you know why? The anointing is there. Hallelujah. we got angels following us, round about us, and Jesus leading me, guiding me, teaching me what to do. Hallelujah. Teaching me what to do, telling me how to walk, killing the giants in my life. But it appears that he's killed the giants in our lives. Hallelujah. And he's walking us through every battle that we have to walk through. We may think that we can do it ourselves, but i got news for you. You can't. You can't do it by yourself. You can't do it alone. You can't do it alone. Without Jesus, you can't do it. Hallelujah. Okay, angels, you can sit down. Then you're Jesus. He's got to hold me up for a minute. See, he holds us up for a week. When I feel like I can't go, he just says, lean on me. How many of you read that in the Word? He says, lean on me. He says, I've got you in the palm of my hand. Look how big his hand is. I fit right in the palm of his hand. Right in the palm of his hand. You fit in the palm of his hand. He said, no man can pluck you out of my hand, Brother Bill. He said, no man can pluck you out of the hands of Jesus. No man. Amen. It's up to you to jump out and take off walking or to stay and let Jesus take care of the problem. Hallelujah. I don't know how you look at things, but I'll tell you how I look at things. You sit down, person. I believe holiness or hell. I believe if you don't live a holy life, hell will be your home. No excuses. When you knock, when you get to the curtain gates, there's going to be no excuse. I believe you think they are. I've had kids to say, I'm going to go on your skirt tail. I've had kids to say, your prayers, mommy's going to get me through, or, or, or none of your prayers. I know I'm going to get, no, honey, you got to get it yourself. This is a personal walk. He said one-on-one. -on -one. Michelle, one-on-one. -on -one. The personal walk with God. And it's time to get busy with God. It's time to get serious. Serious with God. Do you not think David was serious when he faced that bear in it? And that bear, that bear in that line, you think he wasn't serious? He knew, Sharon, that his life depended on it. He knew they would maul him, Sister Essie. He knew they would tear him to shreds if the power of God had not come on him. If he had not been under the power of God and the angel of God around him to protect him, that little man would have been torn to pieces. Just like you and I. Amen. If we don't recognize who we are, in Jesus Christ, we're going to get torn to pieces. Everything inside of us will get ripped out and we'll lose out with God. We'll, get, we'll die early and we'll go to hell from our disobedience. People don't believe that that's the way it's going to happen, believe it or not. And I know Brother, I know Brother Peterson preaches that uh, it's, it's hell or heaven. Hallelujah. Holiness or hell. You can holler, you can tell me all the lies you want to. But 
I'm here to tell you, you can't tell God any lies. Hallelujah. You can't tell him any lies. You might try, but he'll let you know right away if he knows what your game is. It's time that we stand up and kill the giants in our lives and realize the abundance of rain waiting on us. The abundance of rain is blessings. The saints are getting ready to get blessed more than ever in this lifetime. I've got a testimony, Betty, I'm going to tell a testimony about the kids, okay? Hallelujah. I just found this out, and we didn't know it, but Betty found it out for us, praise God. And we've been praying, and we need financial miracle. God knows how much we're in trouble. He knows all about our troubles. It's not our kids. And he said he'd take care of us. And so, Brother Peterson, I called the people and talked to them. And it's an income tax thing for adopted children. And since my kids were adopted in 2010, I get $13,700 a child. If I could find a certain paper, they'll go all the way back from the day Noah was born. And they'll go back what, uh, three, two or three years on Marcy, I believe in God. That's fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars They said they're sending me the papers for ten, day, 10 days I should have it. And I'll go get them filled out. He told me where to go get them done free. And then after that, they told me six to eight weeks, you'll get your money. Yeah. I don't hear no impact. If that was you, you'll be clapping. And they said, if you owe any back taxes, we'll be taking our last and send you the rest of it. How can you beat that? There can't be no. Sister Betty's going to be able to do it when, uh, I guess, in January. Because it's because they had everybody adopted in 2010. Her thing on finals this year. So she gets to do it that, and she'll get all that money, too. Hallelujah. But I got this with you. The devil cannot have what God has made to bless us with. He cannot have it. I'm believing God for great miracles above finances. I want I need a healing. I got a healing. I am healed. But I need an evidence. I need it to show up now. I'm tired of waiting every day, every day, every day. I want it now. How many wants it now? Hallelujah. We need it today. We need it now. We need God to move on us now. And we need to confess it now whether we feel it or not. I've been saying every day I'm healed, Brother Albert. I don't feel healed sometimes. I'll be honest, Mr. Peterson, I don't feel healed. But God moves on and tells me I don't walk by feelings, I walk by faith. Hallelujah. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. I believe Bob's got something to say about faith. Hallelujah. Don't you? Come on. I'm going to let him say something about faith. Give him a hand. 